Hi guys, today we are reviewing the new Oppo Watch 3 Pro. The watch features a new design with a curved display and is the first smartwatch that comes with the Snapdragon W5 Gen 1 processor, working together with the Oppo's custom-made Apollo 4 CPU. This combo promises 5 days of battery life. Today we are testing the desert brown version of the watch. The Oppo has given the name of the watch based on the strap cover, not the cover of the watch case. That's an interesting decision. The box has a nice presentation. Inside we have a manual, one leather strap, one USB-A to USB Type-C charging cable and a 4-pin design magnetic charger. Oppo continues using the same design charger from its first generation of the watch. The leather strap looks well made, the brown cover goes well with the silver watch case, but it remains to be seen how long it will last. And here is the Oppo Watch 3 Pro itself. Let's first start with the build and feel. Oppo has done a great job with the design of the watch. Everything is fit tight and is polished to perfection. The watch now has a digital crown with a pretty good haptic feedback. The watch is sold in China for 2000 yuan, which is about 290 US dollars. The watch has grown in size and some of you might find it a bit larger for your wrist. The Pro version comes only in one size, the other option is the Watch 3, which has the same design as the previous generation. But it has less battery life and lacks features from the Pro version. Here you can see it side by side in comparison with the previous generation, which by the way is already bigger than the Apple Watch 7. Another thing I noticed right away is that after only two generations, Oppo has decided to change the strap design. I talk about the connecting parts. This means if you have old straps, you won't be able to use them with the third generation of the watch. The interface is super smooth, if I have to compare it with the Apple Watch, I have to say that it feels the same, if not even better. It looks like the new Snapdragon W5 is pretty powerful, but we also have to give a credit to Oppo for polishing the whole thing. The watch is controlled only by the digital crown, that other thing that looks like a button is only a sensor, used for the AKG. The arc curved display is something you may or may not like, I personally got used to it quickly and I think it looks pretty cool. The watch is water resistant and you can swim with it. Oppo Watch 3 Pro features an LTPO 1.91 inches display, we have a 5 levels of brightness, this is one of the best displays on a smartwatch I have seen, the feeling is like you are touching the interface, it's so close to the glass and it's super bright. The watch supports always on display and something called animation booster. When it's on it will add an animation to some of the watch faces. The vibration is very noticeable, the haptic feedback of this watch is on the top level. There are several different options for vibration, for notifications, calls and alarm. The battery feature shows you how many hours you can use the watch, with always on display and animation booster I got between 2 and 3 days and if they are off between 4 and 5 days. We have 3 options for displaying the apps, planet, grid and list view. Oppo Watch 3 Pro comes with 3 health features, heart rate monitoring, SPO2 and AKG. As of the time of this video the AKG is not available and it will come with a future firmware update. There are about 100 workout modes, so have plenty to choose from. You can make phone calls from the watch through Bluetooth or eSIM as a standalone device. The speaker quality is great with loud and clear sound. There is also a clicking sound when you turn the digital crown.
the watch comes with 32 gigs of storage for apps as well as storage for your audio files. Oppo has done a great job with the watch faces. We have more than a hundred watch faces. Some are animated, some are heavily customizable. By pressing twice the digital crown we access the recent apps. This is an easy way of multitasking. When it comes to charging we need a 65 minutes to fully charge the watch and only 10 minutes of charge will give us enough juice for a whole day. So guys I can't wait to compare this watch with the Apple Watch 8 which will come in less than a month. Today I won't talk about the apps as this watch is made for the Chinese market and unless you live in China most probably you will never use them. Overall the Oppo Watch 3 Pro is a great watch, we have long battery life and a super smooth interface. I personally like the design and I think to also get the black version and can make a comparison, let me know if you are interested in this. However, with all that being said, the watch is not perfect. For example, the scrolling with the digital crown is inconsistent through all the menus. In some places it works, in some places it doesn't. I think this can be easily fixed with an update. I guess we have to wait to see. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments and I'll do my best to answer you. Until then, thanks for watching and as always, don't forget to subscribe, like and comment. Don't be shy, more videos are on the way. Stay cool and I'll see you in the next one.